What's wrong? It's nothing. Just... Felt a little dizzy for a sec. Uh... <clears throat> maybe from when you protected me earlier? That's right! You did get shot, but I thought you blocked it. Just a scratch. It's no big deal. Hopefully you've been poisoned. But, but... It's my fault. Listen, I get worse injuries than this from shaving. Now quit fussing and let's just get back to Z's. Okay. Hmm. No, pretty sure you've been poisoned. Good day for me! Speaking of day, day three of me just mass recording as much as I can anyway. Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, because you know I do other projects. Anyway, hi everyone. I'm Sundray9. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I was just gonna run disease to start the episode there, but look, cutscene. So, uh, start there. <clears throat> So now we'll run back to... to Z's. Hmm? Don't I know you? Oh, hey! It's the, uh... martial artist guy! Huh? We met you on the way back from Elmo. <laughs> and I appreciate you helping me on the way. I must say that it seems m more than mere happenstance that we meet again on the road. Heh, <laughs> you might be right. By the way, did you make it to the hot springs in Elmo, sir? Indeed I did, but please, there's no need to be so formal. Oh, but it does seem to be my first meeting with your friend there. Ah, he seems a bit green around the edges. Is he well? Huh? Pass out! Oh, what's your face? A okay? Shut it. I said I'm fine. Not fine. Uh. What's wrong with him? One sec. Joshua Thumb at Gates eyelids back. Not good. His pupils are starting to dilate. I think there may have been something on that bullet. Y you mean he's been poisoned? Mm -hmm. That appears to be the case. Pupil dilation could be an indicator of some kind of botanical neurotoxin botanical like a, a, a plant neurotoxin you're probably right I can't be absolutely sure but I think his life may be at risk if we don't get him some help no enough talk right now we have to get him to a doctor Tita is there one nearby the, the central factory there's a clinic on the fourth floor hmm. please show me the way there I will carry the young man Oh, thanks. Uh, are you sure? My body is well suited to this kind of task. Let me handle the heavy lifting. And besides, we appear to be in the same business. We are? You mean, are you a bracer? I've yet to introduce myself. I am Zane Vathek of the Caval Republic Guild. I'm pleased to meet you, bracers of Liberal. Oh, nice. Central Factory Clinic. First things first, we have to perform first aid. Looks to be some unique form of neurotoxin. My usual array of antidotes won't work on something like this. Um, what's gonna happen to him? Well, he's a fighter, so I think he'll manage to hold out. But in all likelihood, the longer he stays in this coma, the greater the risk of death. Mm. No. Joshua. Sorry I took so long. I had to report in to Kalika. She passed the info on to the military, so if anything comes up, we should find out soon. Okay. Thank you. Hey, where'd Zane go? <clears throat> Apparently, he and Kalika know each other. They had a lot to discuss. Neat. I see. Well, they are both Easterners. So, how's he doing? Um... Not so well, then. Unfortunately, I'm not so well versed in... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I'm not so well versed in poisons I can counteract the effects without knowing the ingredients. <coughs> but Father Vixen might be able to help. Huh? Father Vixen? Um, he's a priest in Zeus. He's built up a substantial knowledge of medicine by tapping the Septon Church's millennium old archives. <coughs> he's. <coughs> he's sorry. He's particularly learned in pharmacology. He may be able to devise some sort of remedy to counteract the poison's effects. I get it. The priest in Roland is also pretty good with this stuff. Certainly worth asking about. It's late, but let's see if going to the church will net us anything. Uh, okay. Fine, I guess. To Zeus Church. Which we've not been to yet, so. That's a thing. <clears throat> so we need to go down. Uh, Septon Church, this way. I fixed the bracer, I guess. Tita? What brings you here at this time of night? Oh, Father! Please help us save a gate! Mm hmm. What do you mean? Tita, calm down a sec. Father, you see. Just to explain the gate's poisoning and the details of the poison itself. I see. Mm, this is troubling. Is there anything you can do? Thankfully, we do have a treatment here at the church for virulent nerve toxins. It doesn't nullify the poison, but it does boost the patient's immune system so that he can better fight off the effects on his own. Sister Kira, you're familiar with the medicine I refer to? I am, but the ingredients... You're out of the ingredients? What do you, what do you need, and where can we get it? Samuria moss is what is what we've called it. It's a species of bioluminescent plant. It should grow deep in the limestone cave inside the Kadala Tunnel. We've sent bracers to collect it in the past. The Kaldia Tunnel. We went through there when we came here to Zeus. There should be a snap. Let's go some find of this moss. What? You two? Yes, father. My two friends here are bracers. I see. Well, that makes things much easier. At any rate, we go back to the guild and talk to the staff before going to Limestone Cave. There might be some record from earlier collection trips. Got it! Let's go! Sure. Uh... Bracer Guild, hi. <clears throat> ah, you're back. Zane! I didn't know you were still here. Yeah, you've been talking for a while. By the way, you are huge! <laughs> now I get a good, like, size comparison from this angle. Thanks for carrying a gate earlier. We're in your debt. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Always glad to help a friend. So, how is the gate's condition? Well... Joshua relayed what they knew about Agate's current condition and about the Zamuria Moss. Hmm. He is in greater danger than I'd imagined. If you need Zamuria Moss, <clears throat> one moment while I check the information the church supplied. Da 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 da! Ah, here we are. It can evidently be found in the northwest area of the Kadia Limestone Cave at the shore of an underground lake. Northwest, Limestone Cave, Underground Lake. Got it. You might as well put it in the notebook. I've heard it say that the monsters in that place are quite strong. Last time the guild dispatched bracers to gather moss, a team of four veterans was sent. F four veterans? Gathering the moss isn't going to be an easy task then. Hmm. In that case... As such, I suggest you take this gentleman with you. Uh... Hey, can I please finish what I was going to say? Oh, do you now wish to accompany them? 
No, I didn't say that. Oh, never mind. You're just as frustrated to deal with as ever. You flatter me. <laughs> well, it wasn't intended as flattery. Mmm, <laughs> I sense a lot of history. Um, are you going to come with us, Zane? Yes, that seems to be the path that destiny indicates. I'm setting off for Grand Soul tomorrow, but I could certainly accompany you until then. That's plenty of time. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, excuse me. I... I don't suppose I could come? Huh? I know that sometimes I slow you down, but... The gates hurt because he protected me. I feel like I gotta do something to help. Tita... Hey Joshua, what do you say? Can we take her with us, please? Do I have a choice? Okay, Tita. Do you promise to let us take the lead and not do anything rash? I, I promise. That's enough for me. Do you mind, Zane? It's fine by me. Good to have you with us, little one. Th thank you, sir. Well, if that's all settled, then let's get to that limestone cave. First, we'll have to take the Caldea Tunnel from the Central Factory Basement. Now, I just want to point something out because I thought of this last night. If she came with us in the first spot and was told not to act rash, I think she has a good enough head on her shoulders she wouldn't just have randomly shot the ship and she would have gone along with the plan. And then everything would have been fine. So again, do I really want to go to the limestone cave and do this? I know I have to because of plot reasons. Yes, I'm still salty if you can't tell. Central Factory. Right. I haven't even slept. Not as salty as I was last last night, but still still not great. Uh. Now we have a new party member. Oh man, the martial artist has a ton of HP. I have brass knuckles. Reinforced glove made of soft steel. He's gonna punch you out with his brass nuts. I love it. Metal jacket, craft shoes. You still have the metal jacket too, right? Uh, four crafts, taunt, uh, distend, composure, smite, and his S craft is disable. Uh, got those craft shoes working for him. Oh, that's right, I did take the craft shoes off the gate. Good. Uh. Sure, why not? Earth Quartz only. Defense 1, HP 2, Attack 1, Action 2. Speed plus 20%. Yeah. All Quartz okay, and Earth Quartz okay. Now, a lot of these don't connect, I see. Uh. The only other poison one we ha oh the only other earth one I have is poison. Let's throw that there. And instead of defense one, we can give you defense two. You now know Earth Lance. That sounds cool. Uh, attack one. Ah, uh, Gate still has the attack three. I forgot to take that off of him. Huh. In between episodes, I may go do that. And rip the attack three off of him. Oh well. Attack two. I have to see what kind of quartz I can make. Right now, I'm just going to give him some stuff. <clears throat> Stone impact, huh? Give him hit two. Give him the EP cut one. Cast one. Let's give him hit two. Alright, obviously use this earth. Earth guard forms a temporary earth shield immunity. Earth wall forms a temporary earth shield perimeter immunity. Hooray. I assume that's status effects, not immunity immunity. If it's immunity immunity, I'm going to have some fun. 
Stone Hammer, Earth Lance, which is like a blue impact that we've seen in the water one. Petrify Breath, and other stuff that we've already seen. So there we go. Obviously, his big point is going to be he's a melee beat stick with the strength of 205 now. Far matching everybody out in the party. And everybody in the party has strength 80 weapons. Except Tito. Whereas he has a strength 75, uh, 65 weapon. And still has much more. He's also several levels above everybody. So there's that too. Please go down. Thank you. Come on. Zane Vothek. You even look awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Can't wait to see you in battle. With a movement of six, but he, of course he only has a range, in, a range of one. He's a martial artist. Uh, should be very handy. I think that's all I have to give you, so... Good. Door is locked. I didn't go the right way. That's okay. This way. I need... That's how I changed this up. Yeah, look, Zane towers above everybody. If you could just look at the party order. <laughs> and he only had that one Esper, right? A tremendous multi-stage assault. Single, single attack probably beats somebody into the ground. I approve. I like martial artists in games. They're usually uh, very neat and a lot of fun to play. Uh, limestone caves over there. So we'll do just that. Oh yeah, I forgot to take that off of him, off of uh, a gate as well. Oh well, I don't have the uh, haze quartz with me. So if I get it, if uh, the monsters come toward me, I'm gonna get attacked. See? The gate's screwing stuff up even more. Per usual. So, this is the Chaldea Limestone Cave. Kind of mysterious, don't you think? The monsters I sense inside are ridiculously strong, though. They ain't gonna go down without some serious punishment. Sweetie, if you're scared... Maybe you should just go home? You don't have to prove anything. I'm okay. It's scary, but I'll be alright. Besides, we have to get that Zamura Moss, right? Right. Shall we head out? So, uh, grows at the edge of some underground lake? Apparently so, yes. And that lake is supposed to be in the northwest part of this cave. Hmm. We should be extra careful as we make our way through. Don't want to lose our bearings, after all. Oh, that's right. No... No map well enough. Don't want to lose our bearings. Well, chances of me getting lost in here are high, then. So... So that's a thing. I know this is east, but let's take a look around. I'm sure there's stuff in here to grab. Hello. Tira bomb. An empty chest. Scandalous. It would be. I hate chests that are just empty. Probably keep the camera one way, that way I 
don't get lost as easily. Uh, yeah, it just sucks that we don't have any, uh, any map. So I'm be doing a lot of walking around. I'm sure. Like I said, probably at every dead end there's gonna be a, uh, a treasure chest though, something for you to grab. Or fight, because I saw that monster one. Don't think I didn't see it, game. Here we have another Tira Bomb. Hooray. The chest is empty. Nefarious! <laughs> it is also that. Okay, anything down here? Yes. Another Tira Bomb. Hooray! The chest is empty? Madness! Madness? Madness! Gotta remember that. Alright. What do we have up here? Enemy. Oh, I think I found it! Great! Which means I missed a whole bunch of treasure, I'm willing to bet. It's so pretty. Huh. Now that's a nice view. Uh-huh. And in a cave, no less. Looks like we found the cave lake. Zemuria moss should grow somewhere around here. Okay, let's get cracking. Yeah, sure. What am I going to have to fight? Grab. Hey, look at that. Maybe that glowing stuff is the Zemuria moss. Hmm. Wasn't expecting the moss to be so pretty, either. Why does it glow? Probably because it has a lot of the components that make up Septum. Come on, let's gather it up so we return to seas. Gather. Head back to town, deliver it to the priest. Hold up. Huh? <laughs> On your guard! Hi. You look like a really big version of the other things, which did remind me of penguins. Is that... A penguin? An evil penguin? Oh! <laughs> I guess that's the ruler of the cave. I don't think we're getting out of here without a fight. Alright, let's see what we got. King Penguin with a ton of HP. The heck? Lord of, Lord of the Lake Cavern. It emits an intense shock which can paralyze an enemy. Boss battle! Pink Penguins. Uh, 100 to everything, an excitable monster nesting in cave will spontaneously sing to court a mate. Oh, great, which means summon reinforcements. You have a yellow penguin, an excitable monster nesting in caves. Admits a gas that disrupts enemies' defenses, so defense down. There we go. I'll have a quite a bit of HP. Oh, well, this will be fun. Oh, yeah, I forgot to fight. Oh, no, I was going to fight in between episodes, but that kind of went out the window. Somebody had to pass out. Um... So I don't have the CP that I want slash need. All right, Thunder Breath, Joy, and you just stay right there. Wild Song. Oh, Strength Up. Taunt, which we already know. Taunt. Distend. Self-support. Uh, raises parameters using a breathing technique. Strength and defense plus 30%. Awesome. Composure. Cures all normal status effects except KO and heals 800 HP. Wow, you are definitely a monk. <laughs> you have the monk class thing going on. Smite. A mighty thrusting assault. 50% chance to confuse. Neat. Da 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 da. This seems like a good idea. I should probably cast it. Jeez. Might as well swing anyway then. I hope that puts you in range. Alright. I don't like any of you. 
Smoke Cannon! Blind by Blind, resist! Wow, that's... First time that's happened. Now the rest of you are blind, which I approve of. Wild Song, stop doing that! Get in range of this! There goes one. You're dead. Go away. Earth Wall! Max Guard, Max Guard, Max Guard. Sounds handy. Thunder Breath! Guard, Guard. Wow! Yeah, it is. It's just a one time take no damage. Rock on! I definitely approve. Okay, so paralyzed, you can't use attacker crap. I've not been hit with a lot of status effects, so I really don't know the status effects yet. Did the other yellow penguin die? <laughs> right, I'm, you two over there are annoying. Hopefully he'll walk this way. No, wild song! You're just gonna sing to each other back there? If so, I really don't care, honestly. Works for me. Oh no, there's the yellow penguin. Punch! Oh, come on. Should have punched the king penguin anyway, because the yellow penguin's gonna die. Goodbye. Ah, oh, he can't uh, use the uh, break either. No, that's good to know. What else we got? Anybody really need to be healed yet? No. Slightly weak to fire, but... Okay, never mind, I'm gonna cast. So I did nothing. Uh, you know Earth Guard, but you don't know the bigger version. Would actually help if you knew the bigger version. Nothing. Paralyzed with fear. It's paralyzed with fear. You are goofy, Earth Guard. I like that. Now that I know what it does, I'm definitely down. Well, you're a boss, so I doubt I can just insta kill you. Hmm, Sobler. Nope. Punch. You have some serious, uh, Wild Song! You have some serious defense! Shadow Spirit, which I doubt I can insta-kill. So really, I should be doing- I should be using other stuff. You have what? Oh, you resisted to everything else. Fantastic! Soul blur. You're some. You're just slightly weak to fire. So flare arrow. Shadow spear. You'll go down eventually. You just have a ton of HP. The flare arrow. And with a crit. Soul blur. Um... Yeah, sure. Wild Song! Thunder Breath! Wild Song! <laughs> S 
so blur. Alright, this battle's already over unless the uh, King Penguin has another trick up its sleeve. Earthwell, everybody. Um. Flare Arrow. It's just a matter of time now. Those enemies' cognitive abilities confuse an enemy. Again, being a boss, I doubt it's. Doubt it could be hit by status effects. So. Flare arrow. Thunder breath. Guard, 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 guard. So blur. Wild song. So blur. Okay, it does resist, like I thought it did. Thought it would resist, but this is the only way we're gonna do some reliable damage, so I might as well just keep casting. Wild Song! Yeah, you got HP back. And Earth Wall again. Flare Arrow. Missed! So Joshua still has his guard. <clears throat> Shadow Spear? Just because I think it does more damage. Flare Arrow. Paralyzed with fear! Oh no! You finally decided to come down here and cast it on him. I wonder if that was even a possibility. Well, it's not gonna help. I'm gonna... Kira's gotten ornery. Oh no, he's all... all angry now. You're gonna cast some... some stronger ability. Except the fact of the matter is, you're not. We don't get to see this from you. <laughs> White Gehenna. So yeah, kill the buffing penguins, unless you get lucky like I did. Mating call. No, oh, confusion. Goodbye. So it doesn't do whatever the heck it was about to do. Whatever it's about to do is bad. We can, you know, guess on that. I even give you hit up. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> ah, zero. Neat. They're not that hard to kill. So get rid of the of these. Miss. Get rid of these buffing penguins over here, so the boss doesn't do whatever crazy move it was going to do. And then, as you've seen, you can use Earth Guard if you have it. If not, just keep everybody's HP up and keep swinging. They'll go down easy. That honestly wasn't that hard. Hey, Monster Fowl Lake. Hey, Rainbow Trout. Uh, Monster Fowl Meat. Good. Bye. Now I've seen everything. Stupid evil penguin. It, it was kind of cute, but still scary. Yeah. <sighs> Guess we drove it off. Shouldn't waste any more time, though. Let's go, let's go before it decides to come back. Hmm. Yes, that would probably be best. This boss is supposed to go to the church in town, right? Yeah, let's hurry. I guess we have it now. Sure. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this episode. What I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm going to explore the rest of this cave. 
And I'm going to see if I can't find some uh, some additional treasures. Because I bet there's some stuff around here. Uh, until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.